Hey guys, welcome to uh, another Spotlight build. Today I'm going to show you something that's uh, been requested quite a bit and that is basically my, my inchworm drive build. Now, uh, this inchworm drive is is based quite a bit on, uh, well, mainly on the Team Pants Madness build. So, if you've seen their video, this is very, very similar. Uh, the difference differences I guess at the moment is that well I, I don't tend to worry so much about it being compact um, what I do uh, have fixed in it though is uh, where uh, the frame motors now will not transmit power on their faces uh, this kind of modification will get around that fact and this will work. Now how we start is well, you make yourself a, a little base of frames to start with. Now I'm going to assume that you know how to at least make these or look these up. Um, I will briefly go over the, some of the recipes as we go. So the, the support frame recipe for that sticks around brass and the frame motors which you will need 12 of. Uh, we have our blue electric motor iron blue alloy ingot and some brass there as well uh, and the motor takes quite a bit of copper so you're going to need to make sure you've got some copper going there um, how we set these up you get your base four uh, frame motors set up like that and you have them pointing in all different directions like so now you finish that off by putting uh, frame motors on the top as well and you have them pointing the same direction as the motors underneath. So there you have um, two frame motors pointing the same way on each corner. Pretty easy. Um, and that's part of the one of the other reasons I quite like this build is because it's actually really easy. Once you uh, once you understand what's going on, it's extremely easy to build quite quickly. So we'll just build ourselves another little frame around this and that way we'll give our frame motor something to grip onto. Now what essentially is going to happen here, the way we've got this set up, uh, this bottom frame motor is going to push this frame motor uh, forward like that and if you're wondering about these frame motors not actually being connected to frames, the face of a motor acts like a frame so uh, they will get pulled along because they're connected to the frame motor underneath which is then connected to the frame machine. Uh, so this one pushes that frame motor to the left and then we activate that frame motor which pushes everything else that way and it ends up back where it is but just one to the left. That's essentially what we're going to do. Now um, as far as power is concerned, we can supply power to the top, uh, but that won't transmit power to the bottom motors. And that's kind of important because the old kind of the way that they originally did their uh, their build was kind of like that. And then you had a whole bunch of um, you had a whole bunch of solar panels on the top. Now you can still kind of do that. Um, the difference, I guess, is that you're going to need to put a frame motor there, um, or not a frame motor, a battery there, which is kind of going to get in the way because that was always where you had a wireless receiver. And you had a wireless receiver there because then you could um, go like that, pretty much, and that way you would be able to activate both frame motors off of one and it keeps it nice and compact and you don't need these frames here and and that would be the way it goes. The trouble there of course is that we can't do that anymore because we need to get power down there so um, generally speaking your frame machine is going to be quite big anyway so I'm going to replace that with the battery box and what we'll do is we'll have our wireless receivers here stuck off the side and I 
did set up some directions for us already, and that's actually not south, that's east. Um, so we'll set that as east, and we'll do the same on each side. So we're going to have uh, batteries there, and remember the more batteries you've got, the further that your frame machine is going to be able to move in one uh, in one charge. Uh, so red alloy wire on both both the sides, so that when this frame motor moves, it's connected to uh, the red alloy signal. Uh, throw down this one. This I think is going to be north. So let's set that to north, and then we'll do the same on this side. So, and you do need to make sure that you're using panels. Um, if you're going to put wire down, uh, covers will not do. Wire will just pop off covers when you try and move it. Um, so the the panels in this case are, are quite important. So let's. I think what we're going to do is actually put our solar panel down on this side. Now hopefully this time it's going to work. I, I did have a go a minute ago and inexplicably um, it decided not to work on me. I think there must have been an invisible block somewhere because I built something exactly the same with no differences just next door and it didn't work. Um, okay so now we want to put down some solar panels uh, to charge it and you know you can put down as many as you like you can you know I'll leave the power power in this entirely up to you I'm just going to lay, lay down some solar panels to start with just to show you well, one of the easy ways to do it uh, we can also grab some batteries just to uh, initially charge the system because it might take a little while to to get some power in there if we just leave the solar panels to it and we can easily throw some power in and as you can see the system is equalizing out um, so we need to just keep throwing some power in until until we get a decent amount kind of stored up in there which actually shouldn't take too long there we go fantastic so now what we do we can easily either use um, a set of wireless transmitters I mean, you could use bundled wire to do this if you uh, if you don't have uh, wireless redstone installed. Um, bundled wire will do the job, and then you can hook it up to either a computer or, as I've got here just for now, um, a wireless remote. And as I was saying before, basically, as how this works is this motor is going to push this top motor forward like so and then when I click again this motor is going to push everything else this way like so and that is basically the, the principle that we go on so it's, it's two two clicks is a move pretty much and and that's how that's how it goes and this right now is going to work in four directions so it will go north south east or west and we can show that here by just making it move like that. Now you may you may want to uh, put lots of covers on if you run into the ground at all. Like if I were to move this down, um, which we'll get to in in just a moment, which is basically going to be one of these, but on its side. Uh, if you wanted to move this down, then uh, it's going to pick up all the dirt underneath all the sand underneath and that's something that you probably don't want to happen. Um, for now though let's just uh, add on the up and down part just so you can see that. Um, now there are there are ways of doing it that well actually there probably aren't anymore. I could in fact in this case do away with that if we were going to put this on the side and move our, our transmitter or our receiver over to there, we could do that. And three, we could do that. That's going to uh, keep this a little bit more compact, which means we can run our 
our motors straight off there which is not really going to be uh, quite as doable as before because we probably want to go like that to fill that up uh, which means that it's going to be a little bit bigger than the the initial build but as I say I'm I'm more interested in reliability um, so right there all of these batteries should be getting power and they are now what we do for our up and down uh, we need to clear these out here I think that's right and we basically build um, another one of, of what we had on the in the middle just down here so we go like that and shift click get them facing that way and then which, which direction are they pointing they're all pointing down um, so double click the top ones get them ones pointing up so now we've got two motors pointing down two pointing up and we can kind of do exactly what we did um, with uh, with the, the other directions with up and down so we can go like that um, grab our panels how's that going to work hold on I'm doing this wrong I am kind of winging this part so yes we need our our, pan our covers there don't we that's it so we put our covers there like that and for some reason actually doing the the up and down bit is it's really strange I tend to forget how to do that bit all the time um, so now we can just throw down our I have to kind of rethink it every single time I do it so we can throw that down there throw that down there this one can be four, five, we'll call that up, and then this one down here, we can turn this around, we'll call that six, move that down, fantastic, and you can just cover this up as well now, just make sure it's all nice and tidy. So that that will now do us up and down and I should be able to um, show you that hopefully this is uh, for some reason that does have power why is that not ah, I haven't turned that around look up Q. Uh, so there we go. Let's put them back. And that should move us up. Fantastic. So we now have our up and our down. And that is our six directional motor. Now, this won't ever get stuck. And I mean, that's, that's actually not strictly true. The up and down can get stuck right now. Uh, but that can easily be solved by putting another battery there and another battery there and that will solve um, any chance that this is going to get stuck in a position that it can't recover from because every battery has I mean so if I wanted to go down now that's that is kind of stuck uh, it's not going to go down any further because it's stuck on the ground and now it's going to pick up all the, all the sand as we go so if I wanted to move up uh, what we don't want happening is that that bottom motor to get left behind and for some reason it has ah, it has because I actually didn't put a frame there so uh, we can't move that down can we so that that's had to do it on the side one didn't I because the side one is the one that I haven't actually so we put frames there and there and that will then stop that will grip the side of the uh, the frame motor 
as it goes down. So if we try this again, and we go down, uh, that will get stuck like so, and then we go up. So I have to make at least one mistake every time. And now we go up, and that frame motor has come with. So now to reset that, get it in the right position, very easy. All we need to do is just get down once and the whole machine will move down but we're not stuck at all. So that is that is basically how you do it and that's kind of how all of these work as well. Because as these come out, if you leave this, um, this side frame without a cover on it, this inside edge, uh, it's go always going to be able to grab the, the frame motor so none of them are actually going to end up uh, out of position or out of position in such a way that they can't be recovered or that they're going to block movement of the of the inchworm drive. So there you go guys, uh, a lot of people have asked for it, we're going to uh, use this for something else for another spotlight but I'll leave that there because this is quite a long uh, little tutorial so hope you have fun with that please if you found it useful hit the like button uh, I'll be back with some more spotlights very soon so hit the subscribe button to find out about them check out my uh, Twitter as well because that's wherever uh, you can find out first <laughs>